All right, Storm Team 4 now. While we are focusing on ice here in southeastern Wisconsin, much of Minnesota is bracing for more than a foot of snow. This is indeed going to be a historic storm. It's going to be a tough storm, especially for those in open country. Now, snow is already falling in parts of, of the state. Brian, it is going to be a messy yes. few days here and in the upper Midwest. Across much of the country. I mean, look at this, guys. Check this out. Uh, this is the current winter alerts here, and about a third of the country is under some sort of winter storm warning, blizzard warning here for a good chunk of uh, Minnesota and South Dakota. And then, of course, we have our ice storm warning here for far southern Wisconsin, including Racine, Kenosha counties, and Walworth County. For here in Milwaukee, it is a winter storm warning statewide, either a blizzard warning winter storm warning or ice storm warning. This is going to affect the entire state of Wisconsin. So here we go. Weather headlines here. Large complex system, significant ice potential. That is my biggest concern because we could see amounts of ice that not only cause very dangerous road conditions, but also could cause tree limbs to come down, power lines to come down and power outages. We're going to focus on that in a second. Big time snow will be affecting our northern spots. This is a live look from downtown Milwaukee and we've picked up a dusting of light snow here in Milwaukee. We're at 29 degrees, three degrees below the freezing mark. We are going to closely watch that temperature heading into tomorrow morning as we see heavier precipitation move in from the south. 31 in Kenosha, 25 right now in Fond du Lac. Snow continues mainly north of Milwaukee, coming down pretty good now up towards Washington and Ozaukee counties. Noticing a little darker blue here. Northern spots are definitely going to pick up enough snow that you'll probably want to get out there and do a little shoveling heading into tomorrow morning. As we go way out west, here is the main area of low pressure. When this swings through tomorrow, we're going to get that heavy stuff. So let's go through future forecast. A little break in the action early tomorrow morning, but then by 7, 8 o'clock, here comes that mix moving in from the south. And look at all of this pink here around noon. Most of the area seeing sleet and freezing rain. Snow continues to fly north. Look at 230 mainly sleet and freezing rain across the area. Then a transition back over to all snow across our northern spots. But then by tomorrow evening, this is a good sign. Maybe warm enough that it'll be just rain right along the lakeshore from Milwaukee to Racine and Kenosha. And then still a lingering wintry mix heading into Thursday morning. I think the worst of this storm system will be during the day tomorrow, midday and into the afternoon. It's a three to six inch snow sleet combo for Milwaukee out to Waukesha, six to 12 inches north. But southwest, this is where we could see freezing rain up to a half inch. Let's look at a couple of these communities I'm really concerned about. Burlington, Elkhorn, Lake Geneva, up to Waterford, maybe even McGuanago. Again, those are the spots that we could see again a quarter to a half inch of ice. Less ice north, more snow north. Look at the snow amounts north. We're talking 12 to 20 inches of snow for, say, Wausau and Green Bay. Chance of snow tonight, one to two inches possible north, a low temperature of 25 for tomorrow, a high temperature of 33. Windy with a heavy wintry mix. And here's your seven day forecast. Rain snow mix still possible Thursday, 36. Chillier on Friday, 23, 37 Saturday. The weekend looks good, 37 on Sunday. Here's your weather kid, Ashlyn. I hear Ashlyn likes to dress up. Who doesn't, right? 28 degrees in the morning. That mix approaching. We'll be right back.